It's the segment in which we highlight some of the craziest things dogs have somehow ingested in the past year. We call it, my dog ate what? And here to help is veterinarian Dr. Arvid Edward. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Hi. Okay, so first story is an owner rescues a boxer and soon finds the dog is not gaining any weight and is also experiencing vomiting. After emailing a photo of a cyst found on the dog's abdomen to the vet, they quickly took the dog in and found the culprit on a radiograph. It was a fishing pole. My dog ate what? How is this even possible? If you look there closely at that x-ray, you'll see the yeah, fishing see pole the, the loops in, it. in the radiograph, Arvid. The only way that this is possible is because it was a boxer and they eat every daggone thing. But the <laughs> thing is, I, have, I had a hard time believing this story. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you look at that x-ray, the fishing pole has actually perforated the stomach and it's all the way down into the pelvic canal. So with it perforating the stomach, you would have to have some leakage of some of that stomach contents in the abdominal cavity, which can cause me. peritonitis, infection, et cetera. Dog and sick. you'd have to get to this dog really quick in order to save its life. So the fact that they adopted it from a shelter, we know he didn't eat the fishing pole at the shelter. So he had to have this fishing pole in him before he came to the shelter. And then how long did it take for him to get adopted? So it's a little fishy, no pun intended, with the fishing pole. <laughs> but there are some scenarios that that can occur if the fishing pole was just enough tight fit to where nothing was leaking nothing was around leaking. it, where it was ingested, it broke through, and then it just there there wasn't there was no self sealed, very so self sealed. Like and, a, and or yeah. this dog is just a bionic dog to survive that. To get this out, not easy either. Not easy. You'd have to go in and you'd probably have to take out some of the stomach in order to just remove that so that the dog could survive. But that's very impressive. Is the dog doing well, do we know? They said he's doing well. H how about this one? This case involves a dog who was not a lucky duck. After vomiting on and off for over a week, her owner took her to the vet to discover she ate six rubber duckies. And if you look at the photo, you'll see them, all the rubber duckies sitting there. I mean, they're just small enough, right? You can see the dog getting after it. That's not a big dog either. Not a big dog. And uh, I, long story, I've tasted rubber duckies before trying to entertain a baby. They're gross. So I don't understand <laughs> why this dog ate not just one, but six, well seven, because I heard he defecated one out. But the thing is, you know, you, you heard a pica. Yep. which is, you know, the persistent craving or compulsive eating of non-food substances. But also, this can become behavioral because, you know, if you catch a dog with a sock, the first thing you're going to do is, hey, bring me that sock back. You're going to chase them down the hall. You're going to yell, scream, bad dog, or what have you. But they can start associating that behavior and start being more possessive of the things that they chew. And in this case, he could have got a hold of these ducks and said, well, I don't want to get punished, so I'm going to hide the evidence. So they end up swallowing it, and it becomes a possessive thing. So now it's mine, I've swallowed it, you can't have it. And what's the craziest thing you removed from a dog or an animal? What? Well, literally about three weeks ago, I took a, a cat was vomiting like that. They brought the cat in. Um, couldn't really make out what it was on x-ray, but had to go in and do an exploratory surgery and took out a big Nerf bullet and swallowed a Nerf gun bullet. So, and that's recent. He's Dr. Arvid Edward. Thank you, sir. Thank you.